What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can add PHP to your path environment on Windows 10. The reason why you'd want to do this is if for whatever reason, if you're running a script, let's say we go here in VS Code, I'm going to open up my terminal on the bottom. Instead of always running a full server environment and you're working on smaller snippets of code, if you're working on a smaller project, sometimes you don't want to have everything displayed in the browser. You just want to see the results within the terminal and see if it's actually working. So for instance, I can type out PHP and then I can type out one of the files that I want to check out. And as you see, I get the output over here in the terminal in VS Code. Now, if this is not happening for you, then it's most likely that PHP might not be in your path environment. And you might also have to make sure that VS Code knows where PHP is located on your system. So I'm using XAMPP for my setup, but you could also be using WAMP or MAMP. And they each will have PHP in a different location on your system. But what I want to show you is how you can make sure that PHP is part of your path environment. So in order to do that, I'm going to press the Windows key and start typing out environment and you should get the environment variables over here you're gonna get this display go over here to environment variables then what you want to do is go to where it says system variables double click that and you want to make sure that in your environment variable you have the location of PHP on your system if it's not there then what you do is you go to new you start typing out the path and as you can see here I have it as my C drive in the XAMPP folder. It's in the root of the C drive and then the PHP folder. Once you have it set there, click OK, OK, and then OK. Then you might have to restart your terminal or sometimes depending on your system, restart your system in order for those additions to your environment to be updated. But if you go back here to VS Code, I'm going to go back into terminal. I'll type out PHP dash V and then it'll give you some information on your current PHP version. So you see here I'm using PHP 8.0.1 and this lets me know that I can run PHP within my terminal. Now you might also need to configure VS Code. So I'll go here to preferences, settings, and then I'll just go to the JSON settings over here and I'll do another video on all my settings for VS Code and how to set it up for PHP development. But for now, if you want to be able to validate PHP within VS Code, you would set the php.validate.executable path colon and then inside of the quotation marks, you will put the location of where PHP, the executable file, is located on your system. Now when we did the path environment, we used the default method that Windows uses, which is the backslashes. But for here, you see I'm using the forward slashes, and that's fine as well. If you do use the backslashes, then you would have to escape those, and that's why just for simplicity, I use the forward slash over here. So it's in my C drive, XAMPP folder, PHP folder, then php.exe. And by setting that along with having PHP within your path, you should be able to run PHP within your terminal and be able to validate PHP within VS Code. If you're using a different editor that allows you to set an executable path, then you want to make sure it's set to the location of your PHP file. All right, so hopefully this video helped out. Again, I like running some of my PHP scripts straight up in the terminal to make it less resource intense since if I don't need to have another application running at the same time, I could just run PHP locally on the terminal in that manner. Mind you, you still do need to have PHP installed in your system, and you could have it installed via XAMPP, MAMP, WAMP, or you could have it installed manually. All right, so if this video helped, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.